first step to a good computer workstation fit is to figure out where there are mismatches. First, download the computer workstation evaluation form, or simply make a list of the problems you find. Then, watch the videos that address each problem. Before you assess your workstation, take some pictures. Capture three full body images of yourself sitting in the workstation, one from the side working from your keyboard, and another from the same angle working with your mouse. Take a similar shot from the back. The images will show you what you look like sitting at your desk. After that, sit at your workstation and think about how you feel when you work there. Are you uncomfortable or awkward? Do you feel sore? Where? Is it your neck, your wrist, or your hands? When you know where things feel wrong, you will have a better idea of what to change at your computer workstation. If your hands hurt, adjust the keyboard or mouse. If your neck hurts, think about adjusting your monitor. There are three key areas to a good computer workstation fit. The chair, the keyboard and mouse, and the monitor. We're going to start with your chair. These are questions one to seven on the computer workstation evaluation form. Start by sitting in your chair with your back firmly against the backrest. Do your feet rest on the floor with your hips at 110 degrees and your knees bent at 90? If the answer is no, and your feet only touch the floor when your hips or knees aren't bent much, or your back is away from the seat, then your chair is too high. If you're not sure, check your pictures. The next thing to consider is your chair seat. Check to see if it's too long. Sit with your back against the backrest. Take three fingers and put them between the edge of the chair and the back of your knees. If you can't fit your fingers in because the back of your knees are against the seat, it's too long. Shorter people tend to have this problem. Now let's see if your legs fit comfortably under the desktop. There should be a half an inch between your thighs and the desk. If not, you may have to adjust the space between your chair and keyboard. You should also have enough space to stretch your legs under your desk. If you try and the desk back blocks your legs, the desk opening is too short. Another thing to consider is the width of the chair seat. For some people, their chair seat is too small. For others, it's too wide and they can't reach the armrests. Next is the backrest. When you sit in your chair, it should support you up to your shoulder blades so you can rest your back. Armrests should be the right height to relieve stress from your neck and shoulders. To find out if they are, relax your shoulders and bend your elbows 90 degrees. Your elbows should comfortably rest on the armrests. The next key area to assess for good computer workstation fit is the keyboard and mouse positions. These are questions 8 to 10 on the computer workstation evaluation form. To find out if your keyboard is the right height, drop your shoulders and bend your elbows 90 degrees. Your hands should almost touch the keyboard. They might be a little higher or a little lower and that's fine. If you're not sure, check your pictures to make sure your shoulders aren't shrugged, your arms aren't too straight, and your elbows aren't bent too much. If your keyboard is on top of your desk, it's probably too high for you. You should be in a similar position to use your mouse. The mouse is too high when you have to reach up or out to use it. Ideally, your mouse should be the same level and as close to your keyboard as possible. Check your pictures to make sure your arm and shoulders are relaxed at your side. The last key area in the computer workstation is the monitor. These are questions 11 to 13 on the computer workstation evaluation form. Consider its position and height. There are two aspects to the monitor position, distance and orientation. If you make a fist and reach your arm out, your knuckles should touch the monitor. That being said, if your eyes are weak, your monitor should be closer. If you're far-sighted, it could be further away. Leaning forward or backward while looking at the monitor is a sign that you should move it. Check your picture to see how you sit. Next, consider if your monitor is centered in front of you. Looking to the side puts a lot of stress on your neck. Look at the photos taken from behind to see if the monitor is at midline. Finally, consider the monitor's height. The top of the monitor should be around eye level, so when you sit up straight and drop your eyes, they are comfortably angled to view the middle of the screen. People who wear bifocals need to position their monitors differently and should watch the bifocal video in this series. There are a couple of other things to think about for a good computer workstation fit. 
The first is the desk size, question 14 on the computer workstation evaluation form. Is the desk surface large enough to comfortably perform non-computer tasks like reading and writing? Finally, question 15 on the computer workstation evaluation form. Do you have things piled under your desk that keep your legs from getting comfortable? If you have stuff under your desk, consider removing these obstructions to free up some leg room. In this video, you learned how to assess your chair, your keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor to see if there is a mismatch between you and your computer workstation. Look at the results of the computer workstation evaluation form. Find your no answers, then watch the videos on those topics for tips about how different equipment and adjustments can ensure a good computer workstation fit.